Hey everyone, it's Alicia, welcome back. So I've gotten this question asked quite a few times on some of my older IVF videos on what were the grades of our embryos that we transferred. And I got that question asked recently and I did ask the nice lady if it would be helpful if I did a video on it and she said yes. If you're new here, me and my husband did IVF to conceive our fraternal twin boys who are now almost three years old. We did IVF almost four years ago after 11 long years of infertility. It worked for us the first try and I feel incredibly blessed and lucky that it worked out for us. Without IVF, I don't think I would have ever been able to have a natural child. I do absolutely believe that we would have been parents because me and my husband had a strong desire to be parents no matter what. But without IVF, I don't think I would have ever had a natural child and now I have twins. So very, very grateful. I know it doesn't always work for everyone. We just wanna say if you are going through IVF right now, it's absolutely worth to give it a try and I wish the best for you. If you are new here and you don't know my full story, I will post all of my IVF journey videos below if you'd like to check those out. So I did two egg retrievals. So basically two rounds of medication and two egg retrievals, but one frozen embryo transfer of two of our highest graded embryos. With my first round, I was able to grow five follicles. I had low ovarian reserve, so my doctor was not surprised by this. It was shocking to me because watching other IVF videos, I'm like, wow, people are having like 15, 25 follicles. This is scary. I was very, very intimidated by the low number, but I am here to tell you don't be intimidated by that because we had a successful IVF and I will continue on with the embryo grades. So out of the five follicles, they were able to retrieve three eggs and I was actually very, very excited about that um, because there was a possibility there wasn't gonna be anything in the follicles, but they were able to get out three. So my egg retrieval was on June 27th, 2018. They gave me, I'm so sorry, I can't remember because this was almost four years ago. We ended up doing ICSI for basically, what's the full word for it? Intra, intracytoplastic sperm injection. So basically where they take one of my husband's sperms and directly inject it into the egg. It increases the chances of fertilization versus just putting the eggs in there with the sperm and just letting it do its natural thing. I believe they gave me an update that same day of my egg retrieval, maybe the next day, I'm not sure. I think it was the same day. So they let me know that they all fertilized. And how they knew that was they saw two pins, which I'm looking down at notes, so my head's gonna be going like that a lot. <laughs> Uh, which means two pronuclei. So basically there's two cells in there and they know that there would always be one because it comes from me, so it'd be a female cell. Now a male cell in there as well. So all three of them fertilized. So on day three, they gave me the update that two of the embryos were doing really, really well and the other one was struggling a little bit, but they're gonna keep an eye on it. So what I wanted to talk about is a little bit of what they're looking for in the grading. So a lot of clinics do it on an ABC scale. Mine did it on a one, two, three scale, but essentially the same thing. One being the best, three being the worst. So what they're looking for on day three in how they grade it is how many cleavages the embryo has and what percentage of fragmentation it has. So the cleavages are the amount of cells. By day three, you would want the embryo to have developed from the, you know, the two cells inside to anywhere between six to eight. And anything above, anything below could potentially be a problem. And then fragmentation is basically these broken off crumbs around the embryo that are not the cells. You want that to be less than 10%. That would be a grade one. So a grade two would be maybe somewhere between six to nine cells but the cell just isn't perfect. It's a little uneven, and the fragmentation is around, I believe, like under 50%, basically. And then a grade three, kind of same thing with the cleavages, cleavage amount, but the fragmentation would be above 50%. So the higher the fragmentation, the less chances that the implantation could work. So mine, with my first egg retrieval, only two of them made it to expanded blastocysts. When, once they become an expanded blastocyst, at that point they have like a hundred, over a hundred cells in it. The third embryo that wasn't doing as well never developed up to that level, so just 
it didn't survive. So my first two embryos that they froze were both graded twos. One was frozen on day five and one was frozen on day six. So now with my second egg retrieval, I started off with nine follicles. So my second round of the IVF medications, I ended up having a higher follicle count. Out of the nine follicles, they were able to retrieve six eggs. So again, I got the call either that same day or the next day or something like that about fertilization. So they all fertilized because we used ICSI again as well. And then I got an update on day three per usual and all of them were doing really well. I had one grade one, three grade twos, and two grade threes. And they all passed the test. They all made it to expanded blastocysts. Four of them were frozen on day five and two were frozen on day six. So my grade threes, they really wanted to see if they would make it to the extended blastocyst. So they went on and watched it develop up until day six. Typically, they only go up to day five, but because I was a little bit older, I was almost 39. Sometimes when you're a little bit older, the embryos take a little longer to develop. So when they do the transfer, they always pick the top two embryos. So the ones that are basically graded the highest. So I only actually only had one grade one, but I had a lot of grade twos. So during transfer, right before you know, I went in, they came in to talk to me. And so I kind of looked at their face like, what's going on? Because I've heard horror stories of embryos not surviving the thawing process. So they let me know that they took out two of the vials. I don't know the container that they store them in, these little tiny containers. When they took two out, they took out one, my only grade one, and they took out a grade two, the grade one popped. So it, it got destroyed. So they went on and took out another grade two. So my transfer was on September 26 with two grade two embryos and they both stuck. And like I said, I have almost three year old paternal twin boys now. So we are so happy and blessed with them. I hope that was helpful to you. Sorry if this video is a little scattered. Um, I, as a disclaimer, I'm not an embryologist. This is just my personal experience and what I've been told in the notes that I took. And, um, but if you have any questions for me, I would love to answer them if I could. So leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and I will see you all real soon in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.